And so to then be faced with this uh, unknown is very scary for families. And so again, we try to provide stability and we want to make sure that they're not worrying about food. Um, on Friday, we had planned for 200 lunches, and the crowds just kept rolling in, and so the cafeteria staff was scurrying to keep making more food. We had the food, we just needed to make the lunches, uh, and we ended up serving about 450 families then. Certainly child care, keeping the same rhythm and routine. As I stated, many of our families are hourly workers. Um, and you know, there's, there's concern and fear around loss of work, loss of income, um, how are we gonna pay rent this month, which is al already often a concern. So this is like you know, just piled on top. It's right here in our cafeteria. People aren't coming in to eat inside. Um, and then certainly as staff, we're keeping our distance, making sure we're frequently washing our hands, uh, not giving hugs, just more giving some elbow bumps or fist bumps or you know virtual high fives um, to make sure that we're all staying as safe as possible. It, it helps really because you know people are people need to eat to survive and you know the stores are running out of food quickly so people are going to take anything they can to be, to be able to survive i think mm -hmm. as it goes it's going to be communities people helping each other um, you know it's kind of scary cuz it it's almost feels like an apocalypse you know, are we going to get to the point where we see in the movies where it's deserted? That's, that's the fear. Awesome, guys. Enjoy your food. I mean, it makes me feel grateful, but and at the same time, thing. part of me is hesitant to come here mm -hmm. because there are people here. And unfortunately, I have no choice but to bring my grandchildren. I live with my daughter, and we tag team it so that we can both work. Yeah. Some parents still have jobs where they have to go to work and they're not also that versed in computers. So what are we, our children are gonna lag behind this year and my fear is that they'll have to repeat school mm -hmm. the same grade next year.